Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because I have some exciting news to share with you. Um, I actually started a new job. Um, it's at the same company that I've been with. I'm in the banking industry, um, but I'm taking on a new role and I'm really excited. But since we're still in a global pandemic, um, I'm still working at home. And so it doesn't really feel like I started a new job because I'm still sitting at the same desk. Um, actually, I got a new computer, but that was not related to <laughs> my job. I was just due for an upgrade. But I wanted to get some new supplies that will get me in the mood for starting a new job, a new chapter. Um, and I'm really excited to be doing this video in partnership with Cricut. They sent me their Cricut Joy to put together some personalized supplies for my new job. Or if you are going back to school right now, it would be perfect for personalizing your back to school supplies. I will tell you all about my new job later in this video, but I'm headed into Walmart right now to pick up my new supplies and then I'm going to personalize them at home with my Cricut. Thank you to Cricut for partnering with me on this video. Mask on. <laughs> Let's go. I really want to get a dry erase board. They have these really cute colorful ones that are a square and would look good like up against my desk not too big but then they have this bigger one which i really like as well because you can write more on it i'm torn Ooh, this is my favorite color oh a calendar now that i decided on the dry erase board i want to get some extra markers i want the thin ones maybe this give me different color options I don't think I need that many options. I used to be obsessed with pens, and I'm trying to remember which ones they were. Maybe these? These look familiar too. I really like black pens. Got less picky over the, my working years, but when I was in school, I used to be obsessed with pens. These look cool too. No smear. Oh, these ones are more fine. Okay, I want these. These are 0 0.5 versus 0 0.7. I'm going to try these. Last but not least, I'm looking for a new notebook to start fresh. And I'm really picky. I like how thick this paper is. I also want something with a spine. This is really cute. I don't know. Do I do simple, more sophisticated? or something a little more fun. This one's also a little bit thicker. This one is 192 pages and this one is 320, so it's a little bit bigger. Can't decide. Maybe I need to just get them both. These ones have really cute sayings on them, but I just don't connect with any of the sayings. So I wanna make my own. Okay, I think I have everything I need for my DIY project. But look at all the Cricut stuff here at Walmart. Like this just gets me so excited. So many craft opportunities. I am back from Walmart and I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul of the things that I got. Okay, I got, I got cotton rounds, but these were not for this haul. That was just because in general, I'm gonna do my nails. And I needed um, cotton rounds. So. I have to just start off by saying going through the back to school aisles at Walmart just made me so excited and nostalgic because I love school supplies. So I was like a kid in a candy store going through the aisles and picking out these new things. Um, for me, it's going to be about starting my new job, but it's back to school season and it was just so much fun to go through the different school supplies and be around the kids that were also picking up their school supplies. So I showed you in the store what I picked out, but I'm just going to do a little bit of a recap here. So first I got this whiteboard. It's um, a perfect little one, not too big, and it was just the right size to put on my desk. I was thinking about getting the bigger one, but 
Ultimately, I think this is going to be perfect to make my daily to-do list and then you can just rub it off as you get through the day and the goal would be to have a clear whiteboard at the end of the day. So for this one, I know that I'm going to put to-do on the top using my Cricut, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and I'm really excited. They had so many fun colors for it, like that these boards came in, um, but I was boring and I just got the white one. <laughs> but I'm gonna personalize it, so it'll be it'll be my own. It won't be so boring. I just want it to be neutral and like kind of blend in with my decor. But to go along with that, um, I have these fun markers that you know I can use on the board. So this will add the pop of color as I use it. Then, if you know me, you know I love notebooks. I, I think I have way too many notebooks in my life. <laughs> and I always, I never finish them. But this one was so cute and like sophisticated. I also really liked the peach one. I was really debating getting both, but I was like, no, Rachel, you don't need both. <laughs> so I got this cute one that says, write it down, which is exactly what I need for my new job. Just a place to write down some notes. I am trying to do a lot of my note taking digitally, but um, nothing beats a good old school notebook. I got this really simple notebook that I'm also going to personalize. I love it so much because of like how thick the paper is and I was really looking for something that had a spiral bind and I'm gonna need to take a lot of notes for starting a new job. So this is essential and then I got some new pens for writing with in my notebook. I'm kind of a pen snob so I, or I used to be when I was a student. So I got these new pens and I'm really excited to try them out. <laughs> and then last but not least, I got this clear glass jar that I'm going to be setting on the top of my desk to hold all of the markers and pens for my notebook and for my dry erase board. This would even be something good that you can upcycle, something that you already have at home, an old jar, and personalize it. Um, but I just wanted something that was simple that I can DIY myself. Now to unbox what was sent over from Cricut. This is the Cricut Joy, which I am so excited to use. These are just some of the vinyl options that they sent over, but as you can see from the shelf at Walmart, they had so many different options. And then of course the transfer tape, which will be used to transfer my creation onto my project. Um, they sent over these cards, so you can even put these inside of the Cricut um, to have custom writing. These are for iron-ons. Then, of course, the tool set so that I can actually do the DIY project. And then some of the card mats. So I'm gonna unbox this and use it live with you for the very first time so we can experience this together. So I just got all the stickers off. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting this protective layer in the box. Like everything is meticulously packaged here. And it's such a like small portable machine. I can do it my DIYs on the go. Like look how small this is. <laughs> also in the box is the pen to do any of the lettering that I mentioned. We got some instructions. Wow, and the warranty. Okay, so now that I have set up my machine and synced my joy into the design space, I'm going to start a new project. There are so many different templates and things that you can work from, but I know what I wanna do, so I'm going to be just using their text. There's like cool shapes you can use. But for my whiteboard, I really just wanna write to do. But they have all kinds of different fonts that you can choose from, so let's see. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so I played around with different fonts and I think I am actually leaning towards the cursive, which originally I was leaning towards just a simple font. You can also change like so many different things about the fonts. You can change the spacing so I can make this tighter, which I think I would actually, eh, maybe that's too close, but I'm kind of leaning towards this cursive. You can also curve the fonts. Okay, I changed my mind and it's actually just gonna read to do. And now I'm going to press make it. I'm gonna go with without matte. 
So it tells you how much material you need to put into your machine. So it says, based on the size, I need 11 centimeters. Now I'm gonna press continue. Select what type of material you're putting in the machine and then it tells you how to set it up. So really, there's no guesswork here. It's very simple. So I'm just gonna count out 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then cut. So now I'm gonna put this in my machine. My laptop already knows that it's in there. All of the prompts are on the de design space. Like there's no guesswork on how to use this machine. It just kind of does its own thing based off of the Bluetooth connection. So now it's telling me that it's in there. The blade is in properly. I already checked that. And now I just press go. Okay, complete and unload. Wow. I'm just going to cut this design to make it a little bit more manageable to peel off. I'm gonna use this tool here to help weave out the parts that I don't want part of my design. And if there's ever a part that may be peeling up that you don't want to peel up, it's really forgivable. Mind you, this is my first time doing this, but so far so good. Wow, look how those dots came up too. Ta-da! <laughs> so I'm just seeing for placement where I wanna put it. I think I wanna put it in the top corner to really maximize my whiteboard space. So now I need the transfer tape. I'm just gonna follow the grid lines on the transfer tape and line it up with the top of the board. It's so easy. So I don't even have to question if it's straight. Ooh, this is so satisfying. Wow. I love that. All right, time for my next project. That was so fun. I'm gonna do the same thing for my notebook with my initials, and then I will come back and show you the finished products. Good morning, I am driving home now. I feel like I'm not even awake yet. And I am, uh, I just got back from doing blood work so I didn't have my coffee yet this morning because I wasn't sure. Like I, I read my paper and I wasn't supposed to fast but I thought, you know what, since my appointment's at 8 a.m. let me just hold off just in case. I don't think it was an issue but <laughs> all is well. I just haven't been for a checkup in a long time so I went to do that this morning but now I'm looking forward to going home taking a shower and making my coffee and then starting my work day because I my goal was to wake up early and shower before I left but I just couldn't get myself out of bed this morning I was so tired Merlot where are you Merlot Oh, Merlot, I told you I would be back. I told you. <laughs> oh, he was following me everywhere and he didn't want me to leave.
feeling so much better this morning because I had my coffee <laughs> and I got myself ready for the day. Now I'm drinking water, but I am just so excited to set up my new desk space and make this feel like a new job. So I want to show you my finished products. So I have my DIY notebook, which I put my initials on in a really pretty red vinyl. This was the permanent vinyl. And I love the way that this came out. I love like this red color on the navy notebook. And now it's monogrammed and it has a very special touch. I'm very excited to take some notes today. <laughs> I also have my whiteboard to-do list. This is gonna make me so excited to plan my day every morning and then write what I have to do and then like erase it when I accomplish it. So <laughs> I'm gonna plan out my day this morning. And I love the way that it came out. Like this cursive font is everything and it was no problem to um, to weave it out and apply this. Like that was so easy, even though it looks like it would be very difficult because of all of the little pieces. And then last but not least, I have my jar of goods. <laughs> I ended up going with this jar instead of that other um, a vase that I had because it just fit better and it's gonna look better on my desk. On here, I ended up writing, write things down, the play on words to my notebook, which says, write it down. Um, I thought because there was multiple writing utensils, it made sense to write, write things down. Um, and I love how personalized it is. Now I'm just gonna take a few moments to write out my to-do list. are my to-dos. This one especially is the most important. So I'm gonna get to work now, but that's about it for this video. I had so much fun making these DIY projects, so thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring this video and sending me the Cricut Joy. It was such a joy to use. <laughs> I will talk more about my new job in my next video, but if you have any questions down below, that way I can answer them in my next video. Um, because this whole process has been so long and there's like so much I want to tell you But I've just been taking it all in learning a new job remotely is hard <laughs> You can't just easily shadow someone or overhear conversations meet all of your team members Like it all has to be a lot more intentional booking meetings with people. So that part has been really hard um, But otherwise I've been learning a lot and that's what I wanted. I was craving a new challenge but anything you want to know, I will answer them in my next video, so leave me comments down below. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!